Hi Heather, how often do I notice the speed of my brain and how do I adjust it? Such a good question. And if you had asked me that even two years ago, I would have been like, what? <laughs> um, I think for a lot of my life, I felt like I was at the mercy of my thoughts, the mercy of just like my thoughts happen to me and my feelings happen to me and um, maybe not even feelings as much, but definitely like my thoughts happen to me and um, I, I, you know, my, 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 like the speed of my brain or whatever just kind of is like outside of my control. Um, and obviously I have learned otherwise and it is fascinating. Um, definitely, you know that I've worked with different coaches um, and it has been tremendously helpful for me to have someone else watch that, watch my brain, you know, and say, hey, here's what's going on. Or, hey, <laughs> guess what? You have a body, you can tune into that. There's there's so much I have learned about tuning into my feelings, tuning into my body. There's so, like, I, I have been very, I think it's just like, you know, an Enneagram head type thing, but very much in my thoughts and what my brain thinks and not so much listening to the wisdom of my body and my emotions. Um, of course, you know, the brain is still central to all of that. Um, and so for me, the, the noticing the speed has to be from like, like right now I'm in a practice of writing down my decisions, right? Looking back and saying, what are the decisions that I've made? How have I made them? What happened there? And it's helping me see what's going on with my brain. And then so next time <laughs> I come to a decision, eventually, you know, it starts to click, right? For the, those of us who are demon sleep, um, it takes some time sometimes, but um, eventually you get, I've noticed that if I'm journaling or writing things down, eventually I get tired of writing the same thing. Like, really? How long am I gonna keep doing this? How long am I gonna keep like, like going to this place of anxiety and freak out? Um, and, or how long am I gonna keep, you know, like, not 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 um, responding in the way that I want to, even if that's like an, an under like a non response. Sometimes it's an over response or a non response, and it's just like either way, it's an auto reply. It's like our brain is going, oh yeah, this is what we're doing, and and I'm not necessarily conscious of it, and just trying to slow that thinking down, um, noticing like when there is a decision to be made to like slow it down, and it's okay. I don't have to rush. I'm always rushing, as you know, as you pointed out to me, that I'm always rushing around. Um, and even if it's, if it's not like an active rushing into like the next thing, um, it's, it might be just a rushing, um, as in just like a blowing past the, even the point of decision making, just like making a non-decision where you just kind of like sit there and keep scrolling Facebook, where you don't actually take that time to pause and go, what do I want to do with this, you know, hour I found tonight or whatever. Um, but something that I've learned in all of this is just this, you don't have to uh, resist the emotion or the thought or the feeling or whatever is going on or whatever your brain wants to do. Um, you don't have to resist it and you don't have to um, respond, but you can just allow it. And that is that space for me, that sort of meditative space of allowing that is very new and very fascinating and fun um, to find. It's not, it does not come naturally to me, but um, I think with coaching and with, with writing this stuff down and then like, again, sort of the repetition of just seeing it, right? It's, it's sleep, but like going back and going, you know what? Okay, yes, every time this happens, I do this. And then all of a sudden, when it happens, I might actually catch it in the future. So anyway, great question. I have a lot of a lot more questions about the muse, and I'm see. I was like, I'm gonna take a nice, I'm gonna take a nice pace with this video. I'm not gonna rush through it because I feel like I'm always like, Brrr. and now it's already four minutes and forty three seconds. So I have more questions about your muse headband. Maybe we'll talk about it next week. I'll talk to you then.